Hey everyone, El Nicole here, back with another review. And this time we're gonna be recapping Power Season 5. So if you're interested in my recap and my review, make sure that you stick around and stay tuned. Don't forget, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos from me. It is Power Season, so you already know how it goes. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. All right guys, so Power Season 5 actually premiered last night. And I mean, it wasn't like a like blow my socks away type premiere, but it was still just as good. And I think that's okay because the season finale was more than enough emotionally. And I actually had to recap because I didn't fully remember everything except for Raina dying and me wanting Tyreek to die. Tyreek's character. I had to make sure I said that Tyreek's character. I do not wish death on anybody, but a fictional character named Tyreek who got his sister killed. Yeah, he gotta go. He gotta go. <laughs> but anyways, before I jump the gun with that, like I said, the premiere was awesome. It was amazing. It was really good and answered some questions that we probably were left with coming off of season four. So um, just jumping right into my review and my recap. If you have watched the episode, then you know a lot of things have happened between um, them finding out Raina, passed, well, Raina was killed to now. Um, we know that Tyreek killed Ray Ray at the end of last season, and it pretty much picks up from there. Angela is actually at the crime scene, and then she starts to kind of put things together when she realizes that the that the bullet casing that was found in the wall was a 38, and then she remembers that Tasha had a gun that was a 38, right? So now she's putting things together, thinking like, oh shoot. I done told Tasha where Ray Ray may or may not be because she claimed she was looking for Tyreek. So now she feels like she is going to be an accessory to murder if it comes out indeed that it was um, Ghost or Tasha or Tyreek, whatever the case may be. So we're watching her. Then we meet a new officer who is another beautiful woman, of course, and she works for Internal Affairs. And you can tell at one point she's like, why would she even be here just because we also know that last season Angela was promoted hmm. so why would she be at this petty you know dirty cop um murder scene nobody really knows yet so of course that makes her eyebrow go hmm <laughs> and so she actually later on in this episode comes to visit Angela to find out why she was there now we also see during last night's episode that Angela continues to lie to everybody which we already know is only going to come back and bite her in the butt because again we meet a character from the very first season y'all the very first season who remembers um James St. Patrick's voice enough to ID him to be ghost and she is now sitting in the <laughs> Um, the DOJ talking to other detectives um, or other agents. I'm not really sure what you call them per se. We're gonna call them agents. Actually, they're lawyers. Now that I think about it, <laughs> but she's always done her due her due diligence as a lawyer. So you know, I think if they just kind of trust her, she'll probably do what's right. But at the same time, she's gonna do what's best because she also is now kind of caught up into this web um we keep going um lorenz tate's lorenz tate's character who he's a councilman we kind of left last season wondering and questioning is he really shady is he partially shady all the way shady not quite sure but we do know that he's pretty much using ghost in some type of way and we see that when ghost comes to the church to have the funeral there it's like no you're going to do what i tell you to do and how i tell you to do it um and so we we know that there's some shady business going on with that which also there's whispers out there in tv land <laughs> that lorenz tate might actually be getting a spin-off of his own show based on that character so I'm really excited and interested to see where that's gonna go. But either way, he seems like he's either shady or dirty or whatever the case may be. And they continue to kind of use this as a publicity stunt because we know that um, they're trying to leave James St. Patrick alone, but at the same time, we know that they're still after ghosts all at the same time. So it's a lot kind of going on in this whole entire world, including the fact that we've lost Raina, including the fact that Tyreek has killed um ray ray including the fact that kanan ghost and tommy are back working together 
not really sure and then we have dre over here who's trying to be like ghost 2.0 and so he's now working with i'm not going to try to pronounce their name the man the, anyways <laughs> he's now working with a whole nother real big like drug lord family in the city or whatever and then we see at the end not only is dre badass and they try to set up ghost Kanan and tommy with this whole shootout situation where i think he should have died but that's not the point <laughs> but he has the nerve to show up to the gravesite where ghost is grieving his dead daughter and tells him if you come after me you gonna have to deal with them. I now have their protection. And leaves that little card there that we saw when Ghost was in jail. No, yeah, well Ghost had somebody, he, well they tried to kill Lobos in jail and they left the card on him. That same card is now appearing again and it shows up on Kanan's car, Tommy's door, and Dre just delivers his own to Ghost. Bay, bay. <laughs> when I tell y'all, I was like, he gotta go. He gotta go. Dre has to die tonight. And then on top of that, Tyreek had the nerve, the audacity, because for whatever reason, Tyreek does not see that this was all sparked off because of Dre. Like all of this has transpired because of Dre, right? So he warns Dre to run. And so while they tried to get Dre, they were trying to they set somebody up to kind of get Dre or whatever. He ends up escaping because he was warned that they were coming for him because of Tyreek. Now listen, okay? Tyreek, you almost have my respect back when you went off and killed Ray Ray. Like I was like, all right, okay. You know, he's grieving, he's sad, he feels bad. But then now uh, you gotta go again. You gotta go again because you think you a grown man, which we also see in last night's episode that him and Ghost still have this like rough thing going on. Like Tyreek is trying to prove that he's a man and he can handle this stuff, but you can't, honey, you're not Ghost. You're just not, okay? <laughs> and Ghost is like, hold on, who do you think you're talking to? It's your fault, your fault. And they have this whole little battle. It's, it was really sad. It was really sad and it was really touching and I was just like, zang. But <laughs> um, he deserved it. Just saying. <laughs> and um, we just had to wit bear witness to that. And their family is kind of falling apart. You got the media a part of this. Like the councilman is bringing the media into this, uh, into the sanctuary when they had the whole, when they had the ceremony. It's just a lot going on with every single character. But that is why Power is such a great show in my opinion because you know how I feel about my connecting storyline and there's always a connecting storyline but to everyone everybody it's like the circle of life everybody's connected in some type of way and I'm just like well, which way is it gonna go like how does Courtney Kemp do this to us every single year I just don't understand I'm just <laughs> So like I said, it wasn't like a shootout and somebody died and heads cut off or anything like that, but it was so good at the same time with dialogue and um, character development and people uh, moving up in rank, you know what I'm saying? And then really seeing like, we saw Ghost to be this big, like scary dude that, you know, he does what he has to do. He maneuvers how he does. And like to kind of see him in like this kind of weak state or feeling like he can't really do anything. It's like, it's it's crazy. And then to see Tasha and Angela having this exchange conversation, Tasha was like, I'm not that girl anymore. But you still love him. Boop. <laughs> like, it was so good. Like, I mean, like, y'all. It was still really good because there was so much going on. I mean, Tasha's mom was back in this first episode and she actually witnessed Tasha and the lawyer kissing. Speaking of, if he brings up James one more time, you know, tell James, he needs to, you need to tell James. No, 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 no. What you need to do is listen to me and do what I tell you to do, okay? I know you love me. That's fine. It's just a lot, you know. 
Ghost got shot. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to remember everything because so much happened. And I have some ideas, but I'm not going to say them just yet because I need to see like episode two and three before I'm like, mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Ow. <laughs> so make sure that you guys are interested in my reviews and my recap. Make sure that you stick around and stick with me throughout the season because we're going to recap it and we are going to get through power. I know it takes a lot out of us. It snatches our wigs and our edges, but we are going to get through this season and we're going to do it together. So let me know how you felt about Power Season 5 premiere. Are you guys excited about it? Let me know what some of your theories are moving forward. Leave me some comments below so we can talk about it. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Because once you subscribe, I know you're going to turn on those notifications and you won't miss any new videos. And we're going to recap this whole season moving forward. All right, guys, until next time. Love you guys, and yes, I still want Tyreek to die. I just, that, that boy gotta go. He's gotta go.